Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. This week, we're going to mix a few things up. We're going to put in some investigations as well as persons we're looking for with Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Michael David Lilly. Mr. Lilly is a 43-year-old white male. He's approximately 5 foot 11 inches tall and weighs about 175 pounds. He's wanted on a failing to appear charge for non-support. This guy has two previous addresses, one being Canal Street in Graysonville, Maryland, the other being in Hyattsville. He apparently is likely to be working as an electrician. If you've seen Michael David Lilly, please contact our office or local authorities as soon as possible. I want to take this time to bring in a special guest who runs our Criminal Investigations Bureau, which is Lieutenant Dwayne Embert. Morning, Sheriff. Uh, glad you asked me to be here this morning. I want to use this opportunity to uh, go out to the citizens of Queen Anne's County to try to get some help on a case that we re recently had up in the northern part of the county. On May 18th, uh, we have reported to us a burglary which occurred at Wayne's Welding. Uh, which is actually located south of Ingleside, between Ingleside and the uh, Queen Anne's County line on Route 313. I think their address is actually 3149 Goldsboro Road. Anyway, reported to us on May 18th was the fact that overnight someone had broken into that business. It's a welding shop there. They do some fabrications of, um, of truck bodies uh, as well. And someone had broken into their locked gated area and uh, stole um, one item, which was a uh, brand new Ford uh, F550 uh, truck with a stake body on it. It was actually there from a dealership um, being outfitted with a special custom body. And it's a very large truck and we haven't recovered it yet. Uh, we're hoping somebody out there might have taken, seen this truck either shortly after the crime or maybe they might see where the vehicle is sitting at now that they uh, may, might just not belong. So we're hoping to get some help with the public with that. If they happen to see this vehicle, it's white in color. It's a brand new vehicle. Um, has some damage to the left hand side of the vehicle from when they uh, actually struck something uh, when they stole it from the uh, business that night. And secondly, uh, what they had taken that night on the ongoing um, problem we've been having with thefts of scrap metal, they stole about, um, it's estimated, close to $15,000 worth of steel. Um, we're thinking probably for the purposes of scrapping that metal as well. So we're going out to the public. We're going to show you some photographs and hopefully someone's seen this vehicle. Hopefully maybe somebody uh, may have seen something that night happening around the business there at Wayne's Welding again. And uh, maybe they can be of some help to us. This is a common problem that we're seeing in the county is the theft of metals. The metals that are being stolen from anywhere from auto repair shops to metals that are being stolen as we saw here recently at Wayne's Welding where they took the truck and loaded up the truck full of scrap metal. We're asking the community for their support. If you notice this truck out there or you think you may know where its whereabouts are, let us know. It could be at some farm, it could be at a scrap yard, it could even be taken to the Port of Baltimore or someplace like that. If you have any information related to this theft, you're urged to contact the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff Criminal Investigation Division. Your tips are appreciated and again, you can remain anonymous. This guy we're gonna profile next is Tommy Edward Clack. Mr. Clack is becoming a frequent flyer here in Queen Anne's County and other areas, being wanted on lots of charges. This guy's out scamming our community members as well as other communities all up and down the East Coast for paving services. Tommy Edward Clack. This is the second time he's been profiled on our show. He was arrested here in Queen Anne's County on a warrant and was released on bond. This also occurred in neighboring counties as well. He's wanted now on failing to appear and acting as a contractor without a license. Tommy Clack is a white male. He's 40 years of age. He's approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighs about 260 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. He lived in Annapolis at one time. He's from the Stanford, North Carolina area. This guy is a big paving scammer. He's taking advantage of our senior citizens as well as new construction areas, anybody who may need paving done. Our suggestions or get a legitimate estimate from a licensed contractor and make sure you know who you're dealing with. We not only want to capture Clack, but we want to bring him back to the area. Charges indicate he gives the low prices for the driveways, but when the job is done, he jacks up the price, comes back to the community member for more money. 
please, let's look for Tommy Edward Clack. And if you've seen any of these paving vehicles out there, you're urged to contact local authorities as soon as possible. One thing that really saddens me as the sheriff of your county is that something like this would occur here in Queen Anne's County. On May the 19th, a person on Lots Road discovered a noose hanging on their mailbox. The family that lives on Lots Road is an African-American family. They discovered this noose hanging on their mailbox. It's believed to be a racially motivated incident. We're asking the community any information you may have on who placed this noose and what their motive was for placing this noose on a mailbox on Lots Road to please contact the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff. We need your help and this type of behavior will not be tolerated. The next case that we're going to profile, we really need the community's help with. On this case, we know somebody in the community saw something and someone has information. The one thing to our advantage and the one thing to the business advantage is the security cameras they attempted to tamper with caught them tampering with the security cameras. On the early morning of May 17th at BOE Marine in Stevensville, Maryland, someone attempted and did steal an actual boat. Security video shows the suspects tampering with the security cameras. Despite the tampering, the camera shows two suspects and a dark colored pickup truck. The two stole a Key West 19 foot boat on a load red trailer. The boat had a Yamaha 115 horsepower motor. Both the boat, motor, and the trailer are valued at $18,000. If you've seen or heard or know any information about this stolen boat, you're urged to contact the Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff. Again, on this case as well, you can remain anonymous and your tips are needed in this case. Buchanan Niles Payton. This person is wanted on a CDS charge failing to appear. He's an African-American male, 26 years old, approximately 5 feet 9 inches tall, and weighs about 150 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. His last known address is Dyke Branch Road in Dover, Delaware. He was working as a cook for a restaurant in Dover, possibly Applebee's. And I want to thank all of our viewers for watching Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Thanking Queen Anne's County TV, Queen Anne's County Commissioners, and you, the viewer, for all the successful captures and all the successful tips that you as a community member bring our office, keeping everyone in Queen Anne's County safe and making our county a much safer place. Thank you. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.